Chris Hauser, where do I begin? Beyond the super polite, friendly, like so easy to get along with guy, there is this kind of like street artist there um, and his values seem kind of buried in like a, almost like a 90s, early 2000s era from the fashion. He's got kind of like the baggy pants on, the flex fit new era cap kind of thing. Um, it is cool that he's got his own unique style that he's stuck to and it is kind of, it all comes from passion, it seems, like the graffiti artists he's got have all kind of compiled in, and I think that translates to his riding as well. Um, you can kind of see that he's kind of, it's not the, he's not got the usual style, he's kind of developed his own unique way of doing things, and yeah, that seems to portray with him on and off the bike. The discovery of Chris came from digging through various European downhill result sheets and looking who was good, who was fast, um, and trying to find that next undiscovered new talent, really. Um, so yeah, Chris was the name that kept coming up, kept reappearing. Every time we looked at an IXS result or a local Italian race, he was there and his times were right up there with the fastest elites. We just had that gut feeling and ran with it. And yeah, coming into Lenzerheide, obviously the proof was in the pudding. And yeah, it really it was really cool to see that you can trust your judgment and the results came there. So yeah, obviously we're only three races in here at Valdesol, um, and I feel like we've only just scratched the surface when it comes to developing Chris Hauser. Um, so it's going to be cool to see how he matures and develops over the next few months, years kind of thing as he starts to grow from a junior into an elite. And yeah, the amount of potential there feels crazy. So we've just got to continue giving everything we can to unleash the full potential and see where he can take it. Ooh, he's coming.